thy presence, Lord. Oh, ah, with the seraphims and the cherubims and the archangels, uh, the administration, the portion of the kingdom of God that you've exposed unto us this evening. I give thy name praise and I give thy name glory. And I pray right now that this frequency, that this space would be flood with thy presence, Lord. That the purging and the need and the cleansing and the process and the purpose of the shed blood, Lord. The strategy, the technique, the effectiveness, the, the wonders of the blood, the purpose of the blood, Lord. Be exposed unto us, the listeners, Lord. We, your servants, in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. I pray that this would be a space, Lord God, where signs and wonders would take place, Lord. The demonstration, Lord, the demonstration, Lord, and the display of thy presence, the demonstration in the, in the display of the blood of thy son, Yeshua, the Messiah. Be exposed and be evident to these, your listeners, Lord, your servants, your precious sons and daughters, in the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, that that same fresh Lord, that fresh wound, that fresh slain of the blood of thy son, the sacrifice Lord, oh God, that it would be exposed to the listeners Lord, those that are sick shall be killed Lord, those that are in lack would have plenty Lord, those that are bound up should be set free because of the purpose of this fresh wound of thy son, the sacrifice, the blood of Yeshua the Messiah that will never lose its power. Yes, Lord, let it be done tonight. In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, the Holy One, I pray for your people. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We give thy name praise and we give you glory. Amen. Thank you. Glory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glory. High praise, hallelujah, 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 glory, bless your holy name, glory, thank you, Father, I humble myself under thy presence, and I give thy name praise, and I give you glory, and I give you honor, Lord. Thank you tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, I heard the Lord say, My precious daughter and son, I heard thee when thou spoke to me from the heart early in the morning. My angels shall come and remove thy tears, and know that your request shall be done as your heart and words are one and have come to me from a pure position and I cannot allow thee to be undone anymore consider your request done the Lord also says you have been done over save the Spirit of the Lord thank you Lord thank you for your word thank you for your word Lord mm, thank you for your word thank God receive the word of the Lord Amen. We're going to talk to you very briefly tonight or today about the purging, the purging, the purging, even for our families and our loved ones. We want the purging even for our families and our loved ones. Amen. We want God to do it even for our families and our loved ones. We give God's name praise and we give him glory. Amen. And we give him honor for the Lord is good. For the Lord is good, and we give him glory, praise, and honor. Amen. What a powerful, powerful revelation and an invitation from the Lord. The purging even for our families and our loved ones is pointed. Amen. It's for you. Amen. Oftentimes, I go into spaces, 
and you know you want to you, you want to bring everybody with you amen and you just that's just it you know as joshua said for me and my house will serve the lord and so when we get in into this purging i've even seen attacks with um under my children and different people the things that they are coming to me because this purging must go forth amen and so um, I'm going to talk to you. We're going to continue where we left off on last week. And tonight we're going to talk about the cleansing and, and, the, and the blood of uh, Yeshua the Messiah or Jesus Christ, if you will. Amen. Now, what's important is, and it's very important that you understand that the blood, that the Holy Spirit is what? Is the chief worker of holiness in us. On the basis of the blood shed by what? By Yeshua the Messiah on the cross. And by which the right for the Holy Spirit to what? To work holiness in us was purchased. This holiness or sanctification is produced in us by what? By two means. I want to make sure you guys get this. Uh, the two means are faith and troubles or afflictions or afflictions amen or afflictions so we want to be able to get that in our spirits amen and so knowing that you know that this blood and this cleansing this cleansing that Jehovah has done it will never ever ever lose its power it will never lose its power and so we thank God for that we thank God for that let me um Make sure we get this cool in here. We'll get this cool, in here. and we're gonna keep going. You know, I know the enemy wants me to stop, but we're gonna keep going. I pray you can hear me, Amen. I pray you can hear me. And um, the cleansing, the cleansing blood of Christ. Now, the blood of Yeshua Messiah cleanses us what from all our sins. The blood of Yeshua Messiah takes away from the sinner all the loathsomeness of sin in the sight of Jehovah, in the sight of God. Now the sinner is seen as one who is washed and purified and fit to stand in his holy presence. Let me go. Uh, and you got to bear with me today. I'm going to get these scriptures and bear with me today. We're going to turn to, uh, I'm, not, I'm not home, but the Lord told me to stop and do this now. I'm trying to visit my mother while she's in town. But we're going to uh, get these scriptures and we're going to do this. There's going to be a lot of scriptures, so you just got to bear with me. And I understand if you can't stay with me through the whole thing. Amen. The good thing about this uh, station, what the Lord did is it's, you know, and I encourage you to do so. Um, uh, to You can go back in it and um, and it's on demand and, 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 and repeat it over and over and over again until... Because listen, I remember when I was a young lad in my in my um, in my thirties and late twenties. Listen, I can remember scriptures that I read or sermons that I heard back then, verbatim, because I always allowed the word to get in me. Okay, Isaiah one, verse sixteen. Listen to this: Wash yourselves clean, and get your evil deeds out of my sight. Stop doing evil, learn to do well. Seek justice, relieve the oppressed, defend orphans, and plead for the widow. Come now, says Adonai, let's talk this over together. Even if your sins are like scarlet, they will be white as snow. Even if they are red as crimson, they will be like wool. You know, he says here in Isaiah 16 and 17, he says, cease to do evil, learn to do well. You don't have to teach anyone how to do the wrong thing. You don't have to teach your child how to disobey you. 
So he's telling us here, cease to do evil, learn to do well. We got to practice this thing. And that's why I say to you, if you have to listen to this more than once, I recommend and I encourage you to do so. Amen. The whole purging series that I'm going to go through because it's needed even now because God is about to do some great things in the land and you want to be included. In Psalms 51 and 7, true, I was born what guilty was a sinner from the moment my mother conceived me. See, you, the, the 17 works of the flesh are in every man and woman. The 17 works of the flesh are in every man and woman. So you don't have to teach somebody how to do wrong. We got to learn how to do it right. And it's just like anything else. Practice makes perfect. Amen. You got to practice at this thing. You got to continue to keep going after this thing. I don't care what they say and what they do. Listen, you want to be that one that is practicing to get it what to get it right why because you want to be in god's sight amen you want to be purified you want to be sanctified you want to be consecrated in ephesians 5 and 25 and 27 now we've already read cease to do evil learn to do well from the moment your mother conceived you you were you you were sin you were guilty huh and so Listen, this is why now it's imperative that we take the time and the effort to go and go after the things of Jehovah. In Ephesians 5, verse 25, As for husbands, love your wives just as the Messiah loved the Masonic community. Indeed, gave himself up on his behalf in order to set it apart for God or Jehovah, making it clean through immersion of the mitzvah, so to speak, in order to present the messianic community to himself as what? As a bride to be proud of, without spot, wrinkle, or any such thing, but holy and but holy and without defect. Now that's important. He wants us to be holy and without defect. Lord, purge me, Lord. I'm coming after that. I want some of that, huh? I, that's what I want, God. Uh, look, I'm talking about Zaria. I want that. I want to be purged. I want to be without defect, without defect. That's what I want. I'm coming after that tonight. I need that. I need that. I need to be presented pure without spot or wrinkle. Amen. And so, Lord, teach me how to do that. Teach Zuri, how to do it. The blood of Yeshua, what takes shame out of our consciousness and gives the soul, what, boldness in God's presence. Let's see here in um, Hebrews. I think it's Hebrews. Let me go to it. Let me, I'll be able to tell you in one second. Hebrews. Yeah, Hebrews chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10. Let's go down to verse 19 for time. So, brothers, we have confidence to use the way into the holiest place open by the blood of Yeshua. He inaugurated it for us as a new and living way through the parishing by means of his flesh. We also have a great priest over God's household. Therefore, let us approach the holiest place with a sincere heart and the full assurance that comes from trusting with our hearts sprinkled clean from a bad conscience and our bodies washed with what? With pure water. Amen. Fresh water come down and drench me from my crown and bring glory to thy name amen amen i'm excited about what god is doing and what god is trying to uh, where god is trying to take us as a people when these things are done the sin is purged and our souls are cleansed but how do we become partakers of the cleansing blood how do we be how are we connected with the cleansing blood how are we how we associate, how we synchronize with the cleansing blood of Yeshua the Messiah. It is the Holy Spirit who shows us 
and spiritually convinces us 